Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Nicole Chantel. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. So today's video I'm really excited for because I haven't swatched played with these shadows at all and I just couldn't wait to recreate a look for you guys. What am I talking about? I am talking about the Sephora Pro palettes. I do have all three palettes. I have the Cool Tone palette, the Editorial palette, and also the Warm Tone palette. The only thing I did with these palettes was post a picture on Instagram, so I really couldn't wait to play with them. Today, the look that I'm wearing, I went ahead and I created it with the Sephora Pro Editorial palette, which is definitely out of my comfort zone, really outside the box. I wanted to do something bold and something different. So today, this video is going to be about this palette, what I think of it, how the color paid off, what the blending's like from swatches and the prices and all that good stuff. And if you guys would like to see a look with the Cool Tone Palette and the Warm Tone Palette, also leave it in the comments down below and I would love to show you my thoughts on that as well. And also at the end of this video I will be announcing the winner of my one year YouTube anniversary plus summer giveaway, so stay tuned for that. But right now let's jump right into this video. So I don't even know what look I'm going to create with the editorial palette. I'm just so excited that these colors are so bold. So what I'll do is I'll just pop a picture of the palette just to let you know what shade I'm using as I'm applying it to my lid. So we're not going to make this video a really super long video. <laughs> so I already got my foundation applied to my face, which I know is very unusual because I always do my foundation last. And I already have my eyelids primed and I've used my all time. This has been my really go-to um, eyelid primer and it's the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer and it's in the shade Light. Really love this. So I've already got my eyes set. And if you guys have a hard time with um, making really nice lines. I definitely recommend like a Sephora tape or even the Shadow Shields, which I really like using as well. So the first shade I'm going to go in with is Porcelain. And I just want to show you guys the kickback from Porcelain, which is right here. And I'm just going to dip it. See that how that's all falling out? So just to let you guys know that when you do dip into these shadows, really dip in nice and slight and easy because there's quite a bit of kickback. So hopefully there's not going to be too much fallout with this palette. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the shade of Porcelain all over my lid. So there we go, I have porcelain all applied. I really liked how it applied to my lid really nice, just blend it really easily. And the next shade I'm going to go in with is, what do I wanna do? I really wanna do the shade Chris, which is this beautiful blue, which I never really do. So we're gonna get really adventurous with this look. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Chris. And look, there it is applied to my brush. Like, that's pretty, pretty pigmented and bold. So there's Chris applied to my eye. Now when I started to blend it out, it wasn't as bright as I'd like it to be, so I'm gonna go in and just reapply it again. There is the shade Chris applied to my eye, and I'm not noticing any fallout onto the tape or onto my skin, which is really great. So there's kickback in the palette itself when you're dipping in with your brushes, but no fallout, which I rather have. So I'm really, really loving this so far. The next shade I'm gonna go in with is Helen P. So this is this beautiful, like really gorgeous turquoise shade so here it is here that's really bold <laughs> really pigmented as well so i'm going to go ahead and apply this wow this is like i'm really impressed with this palette like super super impressed so now i'm just going to blend helen p and chris um, shade together I am really loving how well they blended so nice together. Like these are super pigmented, no fallout from that shadow, just a little tiny bit, not too much, 
which I'm happy with and I'm just really liking this overall look so far. Now I'm going to go in because I want to just, I want to use as many shades as I possibly can from this palette. I'm going to go in with the next shade called Amy, which is this really vibrant neon orange shade. So I'm just going to apply that right here to the inner corner of my eye. Once again, really pigmented as well. So I went ahead and did my other eye and then for my lips it was really hard to find something to go with my lips because this is such a out there bold eye look. But I did go in with the Too Faced Queen Bee lipstick then I pat that down and then I just went ahead with the Hard Candy and I do believe this is the Girl Next Door uh, gloss just to kind of give it a nice subtle lip color I guess you would say. So now for my waterline. I really want to do something bold so I am going to go in with the Makeup Forever Flash Palette. This is amazing. I absolutely love this. When I did the Kylie recreation look I did apply this kind of royal blue in my waterline and it stayed there all day. Love this. Very like this is like one of my favorites. So I think I might just go with the yellow one and see what that looks like. So now with the look complete, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go in and swatch these shadows for you guys. Just to let you see what they look like swatched of all the colors because, you know, I didn't use all the colors on my eyes. So let's jump right into the swatches. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to swatch the top row and then second, third, and fourth. So hopefully these ones here will show up on my skin because they are a highlighter shade and they are definitely lighter and sometimes I find that the lighter shades, okay, there we go. I was about to say don't show up on my skin, but these are definitely showing up really, really pretty. Really gorgeous. That one had a little tiny bit of fallout. So there's the top row swatched. Now I'm going to go ahead and swatch the second row. Look how pigmented they are. Super pigmented. Oh my goodness. These are so, so beautiful. So, so gorgeous. There's the last three in that row. So beautiful. So that's the top row and the second row. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch arms and I'm going to do the second last row. Once again, really pigmented. Really gorgeous. Look at that neon green. So, so pretty. There we go, really pigmented once again. These shadows, when you dip your finger in them, they're just like butter. Like, I'm so, so impressed with these shadows. Really, really gorgeous. Now I'm gonna move on to the last row here. And there they are, right here. Oh my goodness, that's so, so pretty. Okay, Sephora, you're like totally blowing me out of the water right now at this moment. So, so gorgeous. Really, really pretty. Now I'm going to do the last three shades here in this last row. And the test is to see how this black one is because black is such a hard eyeshadow to make really pigmented. So we're going to see how that works. Here they are here. 
Oh my goodness, that is so, so stunning. Just look at this. Okay, here we go. Test the black one and see what that's like. Really, really pretty. Really gorgeous. Really nice. And the black has like little tiny flecks of like silver in it, but you really can't notice it, but it's really, really pretty. So with the look done and the swatches done, what do I think of this palette all in all? So I really love the packaging. The packaging is really nice. I like how it's flat black with the holographic design on it. And in this, it also comes with this little stock card, which has a total of four different looks. So you could go ahead and um, create each look with each of these colors, which I think is great. Even if you're like really heavy into makeup or if you're just new into makeup, I still, this is, think this is great because it's showing you what colors they think will go nice with a look <laughs> let's just say so this palette does retail for $85 Canadian which I know is so so much money it comes up to $97 by the time your taxes are in so really it's like under $4 a shadow all in all which I think is kind of good because you're getting a total of 28 shadows in this palette. I really love the flat black and then you have the holographic design. It does get a little bit messy with the fingerprints, but I'm okay with that because you can always wash it down. The mirror, I cannot show you because I don't want to blind you guys, but it is the full size of the case, which I really appreciate because it's a nice big size mirror. And the shadows in here are so, so gorgeous. As you can tell from when I applied them to my eyes to the swatches, really nice. And it comes with this little protective casing that has the names of the shadows on it. I just wish that it was like attached to it. So then you could just flip it up, but it's not. But here are the shadows here once again, and so beautiful. As you could tell, you, you probably know why I thought they were in Natasha Denono palette, just because the way they were laid out, the way they look, really thought so, but I'm really impressed with this palette. Also, you know, when you're dipping your brush in, just dip it in really slightly because like I said, there is kickback. No fallout as such, just a little tiny bit of fallout, but you couldn't even notice that on my face. The shadows blend up really gorgeous, really beautiful. All in all, I'm really impressed with this palette. If you want something fun and go outside the box, I definitely recommend the Sephora Pro Editorial Palette because it's so, so beautiful. This is something that I would never do on a daily basis, but I just want to go outside the box, have fun with it, be creative. I just love this. Sephora, I'm giving you guys a big thumbs up because you totally blow me out of the water. If you guys would like to see a look with the cool tone palette and the warm tone palette, leave it in the comments down below because I'm so impressed with this. I could just imagine what those two palettes are like. I could just imagine. <laughs> Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You can find me on Instagram at NicoleChantel32 where I post pictures every day of the week and on Snapchat at NCP34. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pick a winner, pop it up on the screen, and thank you so, so much for everybody that's entered my one-year YouTube anniversary plus summer giveaway, and thank you guys for all the love and the comments and support. I so appreciate each and every one of you. I will have something else coming up that's pretty exciting, so keep your eyes out for that. So with that being said, here's the winner.